Hello and welcome to Switch. I am Naomi and that's Ankit. And after last week's turbulent, tumultuous oh. episode, we are back on safe, dry ground and I am really relieved. What is she talking about? The crazy Mad Hatting episode that was last week. We had gone to Kolad for a monsoon special where we showcased the GoPros and the Xperia Zs of the world. Loved it, man. Have you guys already made your Kolad river rafting plan or no? How many matrimonial proposals did you get after that oh episode? Let's because not, he was all over there. the show. He let's was camping, not. he was boating, he was barbecuing. How many, how many marriage proposals did you get after that? <laughs> okay, Can I'm we... completely embarrassed, Ankit. Let's find out what else is on the show this week. Micromax Canvas 4 has Micromax broadened the canvas and is it trying to blow its way into your heart? What has the world come to? Samsung really thinks a 4.3 inch device should be called a Mini. We get you up close and personal with the S4 Zoom and S4 Mini. Happy alert and I'm not talking about Ankit, it's Chitranga Singh talking about gadgets on the show this week. Forget two minute noodles, we get you the latest and the greatest in the instant gratification universe of Instagram. So really, Micromax Canvas 4 has now replaced Micromax Canvas HD as Micromax's flagship phone. This is something that has got Ankit really excited. We'll get into more of his excitement and analysis of the phone. <laughs> but before that, we'll get into tech specs. Micromax had an event earlier this week and all eyes were set on what Micromax is going to astound us with now. Enter the hottie Chitranga Singh with Micromax's Rahul Sharma to unveil the star of the night. And yes, Micromax did it again. This time they pulled a Samsung Galaxy S4 at 17,400 only. It's called Micromax Canvas 4. While we know where that number came from, we don't know how they managed to pull off these stunts. But let's look at its tech specs. Micromax Canvas 4 runs Android's Jelly Bean with 1 GB of RAM. For storage, it has 16 GB of internal memory that can be expanded up to 32 GB. The fourth generation of Canvas smartphones, Canvas 4, has a 13 megapixel rear facing camera and a robust 5 megapixel front facing camera. You can record video at 1920 by 1080p at 30 fps. For connectivity, it has USB 3.0, GPRS, Edge, Wi Fi, Bluetooth 4.0. You know, Canvas HD really blew people's mind when it had launched and yeah. it went head on with Samsung's Galaxy Grand, which yeah. was launched then. And Canvas HD was so popular that they always had less supply yeah. and more yeah. demand yeah. for the phone. Which is always a good place to be in. Which is incredible. Uh, and Canvas 4 wants to build on that. Yeah. Um, firstly, there are a couple of things that Micromax should just stop doing. Okay. Okay, like the nomenclature, for example. It's a clear pot shot or it's a clear way to confuse people with Galaxy S4 or Canvas 4. Quit doing that, Micromax. You know, as a brand, you guys are at a position, at a stage where people know and respect and want you for who you are, not yeah. because you try to mimic or want to be a, you know, a you cheaper have, version of have, a more expensive phone. Yeah, you have brand equity of your own you now. You do, so yeah. don't dilute it by, you know, juvenile stuff like calling your phone Canvas phone. But having said that, this does look a lot like a Samsung phone. Come on, Ankit. It does, it does. I took it to the Samsung Galaxy S4 yeah. Zoom launch and yeah. you know it helps that it does not have micro Any branding, yeah. up front over here. Half a dozen people thought I'm carrying a Galaxy S4. Unless you look at it closely, then obviously there are telling signs, but you know, if one quick glance and you're like, wow, dude, S4, mm, But Micromax has never really made any bones about the fact that, well, imitation can be the best form of flattery. It's worked for them so far. It's a formula that has yeah. clearly worked for them so far, but this device clearly takes the Micromax canvas lineage to a whole new level. You know, you hold the device, it immediately feels extremely premium. Yeah. It does not feel like a typical canvas device, which is otherwise very plasticky, you know, a big, broad bezels and yeah. stuff like that. The aluminum band over here gives it a super premium feel. Does not feel like an 18,000 rupee phone at all. Feels way more expensive. You know the things that I like about the phone, that's because I'm a really gimmicky person and I'm not a complete geek <laughs> like him. So I'm not getting into the hardware and all of that. What I like is the little gimmicks that you have. So, you know, if Samsung had air view and air gestures and all of that, what Micromax has is air kissing. I like to call oh, it air kissing. Dude. So what you can do to unlock your screen is just sort of air kiss. Really? And your that screen gets unlocked. You? I get very excited about that. It's like, 
pouch and your phone uh, phone screen unlocks you can flip it you know you can flip it and it goes on mute you can hold the phone to your ear like this and take your call and for me this is like my version of a science fiction film really Fair enough. you know it's like it's 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 my version of a science fiction film you know as a geek of course everybody is complaining that it's a chipset a quad core processor that's almost a year old now yeah. because the canvas hd has the same chipset but frankly outside of our tiny little happy geek universe to a real world consumer it is not going to make any difference because in real world performance it's a butter smooth phone the screen is fantastic very responsive great vivid colors and like i said you know they put in a very very good uh, versatile video player in there do you think 18000 is a good enough price point for this because if you look at canvas hd what was the deal breaker for that was, was the that sub 15 below 15000 you could get your 5 inch screen you could get your quad core processor all of that so do you think 18000 is um, stretching it a bit broadening its canvas Micro broadening its canvas for sure i think uh, what micromax is trying to do is they've realized that their brand means something yeah. or amounts to something it has it occupied some equity now can be yeah. translated to a tangible price tag yeah. so which is what they've tried to do with this it's a scary territory yeah. having said that you get a fantastic uh, flip cover and accessories worth 2 and a half 3000 rupees bundled in the box so there itself the value of the phone comes to about 15k Okay. And the fact that there's a huge volume of pre-ordering, which has already happened oh on this phone, so maybe they've got it right. Eleven thousand, unprecedented. How about pouting and unlocking the screen? Oh, no, That's the least you can do no for this way. phone. No way! I'm not pouting. I'm happy to just swipe and unlock. It's great for. <laughs> yeah, so I'll I'll keep air kissing this phone. Having said that, I'm less than enthusiastic about this phone. It's a little heavy for me. Is it the screen me. size? And it is. A, uh, it is a little heavy for me. For me, it's very important. Uh, the one hand test. It fails the one hand test. It really does. I need to use both my hands to negotiate True. it. I am not very sold on their uh, lack of originality when it comes to design. I know you think it's ingenuity and innovations. So we're going to move on to Samsung now. Samsung has also introduced two new variants of the S4, the Galaxy family. That's after this little break. Welcome back you're watching Switch with Nami and me and it's raining smartphones this week on the show Micromax is out with its latest Canvas 4 I end up calling it Canvas S4 all the time I wonder why Yes <laughs> and uh, so nice device 18000 might be a little out of their comfortable zone but I still think it's going to be a blockbuster device Okay but S42 has some variants now some much called for variants Absolutely. um which you is You really the, think much called for variants Well for anyone who wanted a portable version of the S4 come on there enough S4 enthusiasts there as well Totally So we're going to get into the tech specs of the two new phones that the S4 family has introduced And the Galaxy S4 Zoom which is new flagship canvas for phablet in India Samsung rolled out two smartphones in the country the Galaxy S4 mini and the Galaxy S4 Zoom. The S4 mini is positioned as the compact version of the company's flagship phone, the Galaxy S4, and is based on the same design language. The S4 mini comes with a 4.3-inch Super AMOLED screen with 960 by 540p resolution. Powered by a 1.7 GHz dual-core processor, the S4 Mini runs on Android's latest Cherry Beam. Packed by 1 GB RAM, the phone has 8 GB of internal storage, which is expandable up to 64 GB. On the back of the phone is an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash, while a 1.9 megapixel unit is on the front panel. Connectivity options include 2G, 3G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, micro USB, NFC, and infrared. Powered by a decent 1,900 mAh battery, the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini has been priced at 27,990 rupees and comes with an interest-free EMI option for six months. Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom, a camera that makes calls. It basically started as a Galaxy S4 Mini. The Galaxy S4 Zoom has a Super AMOLED 4.3-inch Gorilla Glass 3 display. Powered by a 1.5 GHz dual-core processor, it runs on Android Jelly Bean with 1.5 GB of RAM. The S4 Zoom also packs in 8 GB of internal storage that can be pushed up to 64 GB with a micro SD card. For the first time in any cell phone, the Zoom packs in a 16 megapixel CMOS sensor with 10x optical zoom. Yes, 
10x optical zoom, first time ever. And because of its lens elements, the S4 zoom is quite thick at 15.4mm. It does look like the hunchback of Notre Dame of smartphones but thankfully ensures great image quality. For connectivity, it has the obvious options of 3G, Bluetooth 4.0, Wi-Fi and GPS. The Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom has a 2330mAh battery and is available at 29,900 rupees. A 4.3 inch device. <laughs> it's is passing off a as a mini. mini. What is up with that? <laughs> yeah. It's a regular ginormous phone. It's a pared down version of the S4. So if you're an S4 enthusiast and the size kind of puts you off, at least this is a more portable version of that. You know, uh, so in that sense, it is a mini. But yes, I agree with you. A 4.3 screen does not make you a mini Samsung. What are you thinking? But having said that, the S4 Mini, hands down, hands down, is one of the finest, most compact, portable Android smartphones that you'll ever lay your hands on. Yeah. It just beautifully fits in the palm of your hand, and I think it passes your one it hand test with flying one, colors. It passes my one hand test perfectly, beautifully well. I just put it in the palm of my hand and I can use my thumb Absolutely. to negotiate it. So that's great. Samsung has really cracked the screen uh, code over there. Beautiful colors, yeah. great response. Uh, but what a lot of people have a grouse with is the dual core processor, yeah. which seems dated in the age of quad core phones, which are for 10 and 12,000 rupees these days. Uh, but I think what Samsung is really banking on right now is the momentum that the yeah. S4 has. Yeah. What about the pricing? Do you think at 28,000 it's a little steep? 6,000 rupees more expensive. It should have been 22,000 rupees. Yeah. Just a couple of grand over the grand or you know those other devices. Coming to the camera, you have an uh, 8 megapixel camera. Very you, average. Very average. average. You have an LED flash. So I don't think you would be picking up this phone for the camera. There is a phone that you can pick up for the camera. In oh fact, God. it is a camera which is pretending to be a phone. Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom. World's first ever phone camera with 10x optical zoom. But it's not even a phone, it's a camera. It's one of those strange hybrids which I have a great problem with. I've always told you, you know, that if I want to buy a washing machine, I want to buy a washing machine. I don't want my washing machine to tell me, hey, you know what, I'll also play out your favorite sitcom at this point in time. <laughs> that doesn't work for me. So if you're a camera, you're a camera. If you're a phone, you're a phone. That's as a good a business idea, by the way, washing machine that plays your sitcom. But as a phone, this is perfectly average. As a camera? It's great for daylight. It's okay. great for macro. Okay. Low light leaves much to be desired but you and by that I mean non-flash low-light photography okay. if you use a flash of course, of I mean, course that's yeah. good yeah. but you know gives you fantastic controls great UI one of the best UI on any digital mm. camera um, but it's low light really which you know makes or breaks a camera for me but I think what will really tell how good mm. this camera is a full-blown comparison with a 10x optical zoom dedicated digicam which is going to happen soon but it's just completely unwieldy man it is unwieldy it's so extremely uncomfortable you know ankit if you put this in your pocket and uh, you know there would be that little bulge and we could just amend that famous line someone could just sit, tell you ankit is that a phone in your pocket or are you really happy to see me oh this is a family show. It is a family show. No, I'm, it's just a, you know, it's just a thought I that crossed just, my mind. I, no, I think that just fits beautifully. Unlike any other smartphone, this cannot take a drop or two. Oh, it can't, is if it? If it falls, dude, you're done. You're done. Finished. So I don't think this is going to work for Samsung. Honestly, I, I, I think it doesn't work as a phone. As a camera, wouldn't you rather just go buy a decent compact? I don't think it'll work, really, honestly, but it's okay. Full marks for innovation. We're going to get into a little break and after that, we're going to be meeting... Hotty. Don't be this excited. Hot. We're going to meet Chitranganda Singh. No, I'm going to meet. I met her. I know. Welcome back, you're watching Switch with Naomi and me and we told you it's raining smartphones this week on the show, especially Android smartphones. And one of the coolest things to do with your brand new cell phone camera is to shoot a 15 second Insta video. Instagram is out with their 15 second video service, Devika Chitnis takes it for a spin and also gets you up to speed with the latest in the Insta universe. Check this out.
shooting Insta video is quite fun, but the only problem is that uploading it takes a lot of time, even on 3G. Let's assume you've updated your Instagram and got the video feature. For the slow coaches, you've got to buck up because shooting an Insta video is instinctive and oodles of fun. Click on this video cam right here and record. The cool part is that you can pause your recording as many times as you want. But remember, you've got only 15 seconds to tell your story. If you don't like a particular shot, you can always delete it. There are 13 new filters to choose from and just in case your video is too shaky, it can be stabilized using the cinema mode. It's going to be quite simple actually, more so if you've used Vine. Unfortunately, you can't upload videos from the camera roll. With the new iOS update for Insta video, you can shoot in landscape mode. However, it's not a big difference. You can reach the shutter button easily, but that's not all. Though it looks pretty, Instagram square is a bit stifling and you just have to crop your image. It's annoying, but there's always some jugad you can do. And that's called Instasize. Instasize lets you share the entire picture without cropping it. This is available for Android and iOS. Besides Instasize, there are a lot of Instagram companion apps lurking in your app stores like Insta Message and Textagram. Now, if you see some hottie on Instagram you'd like to message, Insta Message lets you send a private message. But please be civilized and not troll people with this app. Textagrams lets you create images out of texts. Throw in some words, emoticons, text effects to jazz up your message and share it with fellow Instagrammers, but only on Android. Now, there are other companion apps too like Insta Cartoon, that makes a lovely sketch out of your picture. But then there's Insta Fisheye. The Insta Fisheye gives a fisheye effect to your picture. And guess what? It's available for free on Android and for 55 bucks on iOS. I know you love selfies, so do I. But there has to be something more than the selfies to just making that big face like and looking in the mirror and clicking, right? So, if you don't have anything else, please follow Frank Ocean for selfies. I mean, look at him, he's phenomenal. Frank Ocean, I think I have a crush on you. What is better than one Frank Ocean? Well, two of them. And how do we get that? With the Split Camera app. Your frame is divided into two parts with this app. You can do this latitude or longitude wise. Take your pick, then click on one picture and the other. There is a blur tool to merge these two images and voila, you can pretend that you have a twin. Now to Instagram this picture, you've got to import the picture from the camera roll. It would have been nice if I could use different filters for each part of the picture. But hey, I didn't promise you the moon. It's always great to meet fellow Instagrammers. You know, to meet people, reinvent your style. There are actually special meets for this called Insta Meets and Insta Walks. And just in case there are none in your city, you can always organize one. Spread it on Facebook, Twitter and don't forget to drop us a like. So after that story on instant gratification, we move on to a drool fest. Oh, so much gratification. So much gratification. We are going to move on to Chitranganda Singh. She's talking about gadgets while the other person... <coughs> She's just talking. She's talking about something while the, while the other person in the story is drooling. So watch Ankit drool on our technology show. What does that have to do with technology, you drooling? Are you doing water resistant... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> drool resistant <laughs> She's so hot, dude. She's so hot. Major, major, major celeb crush happening. I mean, of course, I've been the biggest fan of Chitranga since uh, she w she even you know became big onto the scene. I'm you know I'm not even holding the mic. I have such a celeb crush moment right now. I can't tell You're you. Bad actor. But uh, I'm a terrible <laughs> actor. Thank you for thank you for acknowledging that. Fortunately, I don't have to act on the tech show. But it's awesome to have you here, Chitranga. You know, all of us have always used a Nokia phone uh, yeah. in our life once. Yeah. Yeah. And so, are you a Crackberry, are you a touchscreen phone? Are you an Android person? Are you an iPhone person? What is it? Uh, iPhone, yes, and, and a Blackberry as well. 
um, the BBM is something that we use a lot because of your emails and all of that otherwise. But really, if I was to use a phone, mostly it's emailing and otherwise it's photographs. Yeah. Are you on Instagram? I am, yes. What's your handle? <laughs> not <so> <laughs> I'm not very active on it. I come Which on means it. she doesn't Instagram herself. Do you no. have a coterie of people tweeting for you, updating your Facebook oh, no, no, status no, no. I, and no, your Instagram? No, 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 no. So I tweet myself. Okay. okay. Handle? I'm at, I'm at I Chitrangada. Okay. And that is something that I do myself. Instagram and everything, I ask a lot of other people. <laughs> Meg, there's this girl standing here who's, who helped me a lot okay. through Instagramming things. But uh, no, other than that, Facebook, I'm not on Facebook. But I tweet. Too many gadgets, too much technology, yeah. too many of gizmos in our life, uh, yes. very little personal time with ourselves. What's your take on it? Yes, I, I totally agree with everything you said. I'm not so much of a technology person. I'm not so big on it. I'm, I, I do get fascinated by things, yes. Thank, Thank you. And kids, stop smiling. Are you following Chitrangana on <clears throat> Twitter now? Is she following you back? Or would you it's rather a little keep more it, private. Would you rather keep it private? Or like they say on Facebook, it's complicated. Oh, God. <laughs> Fine, now we. I admit I'm a fan, so why? Fanboy. Anyway, that's it for the show this week. We are at the Konkan Cafe at Vibanta by Taj President. You can follow us on Twitter at SwitchFeed. You can catch up with all our episodes on youtube.com slash CNBCTV18. And what else can they do? And kids, stop all leaving. You, all you Chitranga fans can just, you know, let's all huddle up and revel in the... You can like our Facebook page. Beauty that she is. You can like our Facebook page. That's it's all we have for this week. Till next week then, stay switched on. Nothing else matters. <laughs>